the Lord be with you. A childlike faith, that is all that is required of us. A faith that trusts God and knows that everything is going to be all right because God says it will, and that's all we need to know. Most people can remember a time in their lives when they just knew that their dad could fix anything and do anything. I also think that most people can relate to this child's childlike faith. One time in 1973, when I was about 10 years old, we had eaten supper out, which was a big deal. We pulled out after eating onto US 30, and a hot rod pulled up next to us. We were driving what probably weighed two times or more the other car. But still, I thought my dad's car was the fastest car around. It was a 68 Ford four-door station wagon with a three on the tree and a 390 V8 with a four-barrel carburetor, which by today's standards would describe a tank. I leaned over with all the faith in the world in my dad and whispered to him, You can take him, Dad. A childlike faith like a child jumping off of a tree limb into her father's arms, like a child jumping into the deep end of the swimming pool into his mother's arms. That is exactly how God wants us to be, especially when we ask God to accomplish the impossible in life. To come, to ask, and to believe with the pure and innocent expectation and faith of a child. The Apostle Paul wrote, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I reasoned as a child. When I became an adult, I gave up childish things. But read the Bible, and it is quite evident that one thing from his childhood remained— a childlike faith. He never understood how it could be that God would not remove what he called a thorn in the flesh from his life. Three times God, three times Paul prayed. Three times God told Paul he would remain weak to prove God's strength. And Paul kept walking, journeying across the known world, thorn and all. He believed and accepted God's word and work for his life. When United Methodist pastors are moved, well, it's a, a, a difficult time for lots of people. No one knows quite what to expect. Churches wonder what kind of pastor they are going to receive. The pastors have little to go on as to the kinds of churches to whom we are being sent. But most of us trust that the bishop and cabinet have prayed diligent prayers, self-suffering prayers. And we trust and we go, putting it in God's hands, a childlike faith. The two largest trials we face right now are COVID-19 and our relationships with people who don't look like us. What is going on? What is going to happen? Is this something we now must get used to having in our lives, a new normal? Will we ever be able to walk in our communities without a mask like we used to? A childlike faith is not just for children. It is also for adults who want to have hope and to offer hope, who put their trust in God, who don't just believe, but absolutely know that God will work all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purposes. 
for adults who believe in seeking God's face through prayer, for adults who yearn for the world to come, where there will be no such thing as a virus, where all people will dwell together in joy, where there will be eternal peace. No, a childlike faith is not just for children. Or maybe it is, child of God. Amen.